the Invoker and the, the Couch of the Legion. I, I think it's really hard, and you can see Liquid using their time up here. It, it's they have a lot of options have been taken away from this mid lane. Right off the bat, off Liquid and Seoma. He is smoked up. The smoke does break, though. They get eyes on him, and oh my goodness, he's going to die here for sure. Absolutely. Telekinesis into the crush. He's out and down. And they'll let that go the way of Miracle as well. Good control there for Liquid, making sure the Miracle... See, this is certainly the lane pairing and lane matchup that Vega would want in this, yeah. in this if they could choose. This is what v yeah, this is what VP was doing in Kiev. They were putting yeah. the Ursa versus the Omni Knight, Omni Knight now. In trouble, gets lifted up, gets bited. He should be brought down pretty easily Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Purification ain't going to save you from the stacks building up as the lower dance comes in. Just standing on his hill. Ooh, Bottom lane. Crush yeah. onto Afterlife. Should be a dead Legion. They have to crush follow through. You press the attack. Will it be enough to get him out? Shouldn't be with the Shadow Word. Ticking him down. He's got no regen on him. Only a poor man's shield. And GH will come in close to make sure they finish it off. The same time though in the mid lane. G on minimal health gets the kill uh, with a rotation coming in from the Rubik to help him circle and again. Look at this, three heroes looking towards Miracle. Really wanting to make a guard him. He's hiding actually in the trees here by Vega's side. Will be spotted out and everything being thrown down. He will get the leap off in time, but he's not going to get himself away as they do pick up the kill. So Vega's squadron really putting everything. Kuroki's going to be out. The DJ Nora slowing down, turns his attention towards mind control. And that will be enough to, to hold him back from Kuroki for the time being. He's still thinking about diving in. Bottom lane, that's going to be where the real action happens. They're closing on to Mocha. Level 4 on CM, almost level 4 on Rubik, GH. And a fine Silent now, they get a double crush. Yeah, very nicely done it. They're looking for the follow-up, the, the heal onto Silent, allowing them to turn. Good overwhelming odds, Nuke, bringing Matuma Man down low. They're not going to be able to finish off the CM. Sunstrike isn't going to connect. Matuma Man continues to chase down, but Silent just turns around, so whacks him in the face. Matu now doesn't want to go back bottom, because he's just like, all right, these rotations are really hurting me. I'm going to go make some plays. Yeah. I want to get involved. GH making the move on mid. Oh, that is a dead invoker. No escape for this, boy. Crush into the arrow. Miracle quickly out of there again with the haste rune. As, uh, yes, the, the road not expecting that at all. Yes, Sayoma and Silent had literally just moved away from that mid lane, trying to make it their way toward top, but... That's a dead warlock. A lower dance. You've got to be so careful how close you get to him. Let's see if they can punish it. Frostbite onto Matuma Man. A lower dance taken out. They do get the kill in return. Cool. Trying for the arrows. Has the arcane rune, so absolutely worth a shot. Just needs to be a bit careful. Plus the Moonlight Shadow straight away, but the sentry is down. Silence is going to be able to find the lock here with the Frostbite. Telekinesis and Daphne Blast holding him in the Sunstrike. And Vega punished the movement. Oh, Dance and Shoma. Ready for the 2v2. He used his enrage just before, and they are aware Ooh, of that. So Mod is coming down. Is a dead Rubik. Walks in range of the Magic Missa. A lot of stun, a lot of. Would love to move in position for a duel. Poor old little Kuroki is the target again. We've seen the big old bear run him down a few times already, and it's going to happen again here. Kuroki, no escape from the clutches of the... They have Aegis Ursa. They've got Midas on Invoker. But speaking of Invoker... Oh, and he hasn't used his Midas. He hasn't used his Midas. G. Oh, no. Value being lost here. He's getting bashed. He's going to get taken down. G's out, and he didn't use his Midas going to hurt. They do lose Matuma Man for it, and also Kuroki getting beat down once again. Aloha Dance has got a taste for old men. As that Warlock consistently getting hunted. Miracle repelled up by Mind Control. They're trying to man up fine afterlife. He has got an arrow. He's not going to throw out as of yet, and doesn't want to dive any deeper. They'll turn for the easier kills. They've got the crush set up onto Silent. Burst him down with a Purification Bomb. Show him the Slayer. Goes for the steal. Has managed to steal the Purify here. Press the attack, and there we go with the own Purification Nuke to make sure that the Jewel's won. But Mind Control in return again. Another Purification, bringing down Afterlife with the bash of his hammer. Let's see if they can get out. Kuroki turns up, throws down the chaotic oh, geez, offering, Midas and the still up. evil G. Oh no, yeah, he's still not used his Midas. Oh, oh no, he dies two deaths. Again. <laughs> oh, that feels so bad. That has got to feel incredibly. Two zero and six. No, no deaths. Yep. Oh gee, he's oh, in some gee. trouble. Well, he used his minus, so it's all good. That's very scary though, like three times in three minutes, GH has a blink dagger at 13 minutes. Oh man. Because I... of these two towers cleaned up and all of his rotations working out. Kuroki again, oh my god, Aloha just is actually just- he... He's only 1-2, win rate, damn. All three of those games are since he's been on Liquid. Interesting. The blink reveal, and, and they get yeah. actually brought down pretty hard by the Ursa. Yeah, Loa dance with a very strong turnaround there. Turns it with the Enrage. 
Gets two. Can they get more? Sunstrike? Uh, it's not going to connect. Hello, our dance looking for the chase down. Got the cover of Moonlight Shadows. They try and get themselves away. Turn around with the magic missile. Not quite enough damage, but the upheaval will stop them from looking for more. But yeah, very nice uh, quickness to turn around. Oh, the wave of terror there onto the Fatal Bond's targets will bring down Silent. So that was the blink reveal and the mech reveal for Liquid, and they actually end up losing two heroes. Cookie Matu getting pressured down with the purification coming out from Seoma. They get the swap out. Yeah, Colin dropped onto two, and again, oh, GH comes man. in with a two-man crush. Let's see if they can finish him off a second time. They're ready to surround him. Laloha dance. He'll try and run, but the chain stun's there. He's out and down. So they're trying to get aggressive with it, with Afterlife. Mind control pressed up very far. He might be the target. And he certainly will be. No escape for the Omni Knight. Just the blink burst is a good timing on the Basher as well. It's going to be so scary for Liquid. Anyone that comes within a, an inch of this Ursa will die. A very painful death as he rips them to piece limb by limb. This is like the Aloha show. Yeah. He's actually just running in and causing so much aggression. Oh. Matu gets a swap onto Sayoma. Yeah, Shoma falling low. Burst will be there to turn it around. In fact, Matuma's going to be the first to fall. Shoma, heal up by the press the attack. Sick charges as well. Keeping the Ruby alive. Jump in from Aloha Dance. Looking for his target again. He Look who he's found. He's found Kuroki. The GA this time will come out from Mind Control, keeping Kuroki alive. But only just as he tries Steals to back to the stolen GA. Shoma the Slayer, allowing them to keep going. Jump again in from Aloha Dance, but he doesn't have. He is definitely leading the charge and he was the one making the calls for those early movements and rotations as well. GH in position, trying to get a nation, double Very crush. Very nice double crush, we'll see what they can do. Press the attack onto Lower Dance, trying to save the carry off and drop down, they'll go for the duel and immediately they find the Slardar. They have lost to Lower Dance, though, Matuma Man, trying to man up onto G, bursting down with the magic missile, the turn around there, show me the slay and silent, bring him Matuma Man down there with a frostbite into the fable. he's out and down. Jump forward from Miracle with the Starfall, show me the Slayer taken down, Miracle grabs the double kill, silent, trying to get himself out of here. Miracle, is he going to be able to chase this? Does have the leap in eight seconds, and while well, with the TP across from Mind Control, they should find the CM as well as Miracle picks the triple kill up. Can we? It's pretty much both teams have like this one guy where they're trying to like kind of bring them back in, right? Like Matu right now is struggling a little bit. They get the duel onto Miracle though. Yep, and that's a guaranteed kill. They find that duel, they find the kill. Be done there by the Rubik. Telekinesis holds back GH and they go out of there. Very sweet disengaged attempt for Shoma the Slayer. He may be punished as GH does grab him with the cross. Shalona the Slayer, can he steal anything tasty? Doesn't need to at the moment, just duking it out through the sidelines. There's the steal. He'll grab himself, I believe, the amplifier, lays it down in return. Liquid will surround him, but some admirable play there by the Sayoma this, this series. Play mail money is now there for afterlife mid lane the jump has been made the crush into the arrow lower dance still though gets the chance to enrage starting to run away the upheaval down for kuroki trying to slow him up a lower dance has the backup now press the attack from afterlife and now he turns he rips into them there's the jewel as well but he's down the kyoto offering has been dropped they've lost the earth on vega squadron now liquid chasing for more after life with the amplify upon him it doesn't matter though liquid don't have the control They've lost one for one, swap from Matuma Man, brings Silent into the midst of them all as they crush the Crystal Maiden. Afterlife again in with the overwhelming odds nuke, the Sun Stripe follow through as well, Slardar's out and down, Miracle trying to man up to the high ground, the Blade Mail done on Afterlife, Miracle has to be careful with the Starfall. I love how aggressive they're being though, I mean this is what you want to be doing ideally with an Ursa, so Ooh, this is what they're trying to do with to start things off, the Telekinesis into Magic Mister. the Sun Strike combination is whiffed here, Miracle actually gets the chance to jump away, but G with a good two-man tornado, turns around with the Deafening Blast, they'll get one and with the Jewel they'll pick a second. Again, and, and, and the flashy plays come through, and it's not over yet for the side of Vega. They want more. Matuma Man's been found out. The GA and Repel being committed to try and save this this vengeful spirit. But a lower dance for sure is going to want to chase. No wave of terror to throw back to stop the blink. So in comes the lower dance. The swap will be there. Matuma Man up to the high ground. Turns around with the magic missile. The sun tribe. Bam! It's on point from G. And the lower dance man's up again. Turns around with the fury strikes. Whips into the Omni Knight. And Vega Squadron. Oh, less Two, gold than ten. the CM. I mean, maybe Silent is playing carry because he's got more night worth than Matumba. Back to his old bro. Lane. Oh, Miracle just gets evaporated by. Yep, something's gone wrong there. I mean, Silent has been having a good game, but yeah, Matumba man. Uh oh, has my just control. Struggled massively, and oh, yeah, he is uh, having a bit of a chill. And uh, yeah, he's not surviving, and that is GA down the drain. Goodbye, sir. And GA stolen. Yeah. Oh, he stole it as well. 
the supports, these two supports, honestly, I'm, I'm very impressed with both uh, Sayoma and Silent this game. Alright. I mean... Swap coming in into the arrow. But he just takes it off and there's the GA, they're ready to fight Vega Squadron. And immediate telekinesis into the, the duel, brings down one. And that, oh, that was your, that was Matumba. Oh, there goes your carry. He will be carried back in a casket. He's been very good with his press the attack usage as well. Like every single yeah. time I feel like someone's been stunned up and locked down, looks like they might get brought down. He always gets, a, gets it off on them. G. Jumping again with the crush, but again, it's these constant crush initiations with no follow-up. It, it really not there at this stage of the game for Liquid. Silent. Oh, he'll get taken. Dallin won't be enough to save him, but Aloha does his in. Fade pods the back and Miracle brings him down. Buyback will be there from Matuma. Kroki dropping the golem to hold back afterlife. Press the attacks, heads himself back over the ice wall. As Liquid, they get the CM. They won't get any more out of that. And they have to be careful. Aloha dance. As soon as that Fatal Bond's gone, he's going to be jumping back in on you. You know it. So I'm just going it. in, trying to get aggressive. Notification comes out, Afterlife in with the duel. Mind Control will be swapped back by Matuma Man. They may just lose both of them for this one. Mind Control does pop the stick charge. It actually could have survived over the Guardian Greaves. Sherman the Slayer with the Solon Magic Missile brings him down low. Now caught in the upheaval, they. This is the turnaround the Liquid need. They need Three to find a lot out of it. Three man crush from GH. Where's the follow through though? A lower dance just turns with the enrage. Afterlife jumping forward as G throws out the deafening blast. That's going to be GH down. Matuma Man desperately trying to tickle them to death, but it's not, of course, going to work. Afterlife turning, forcing Matuma Man back. Takes him out and down. Mind control. Looking to juke around with the purification, but he is going to fall as well as a lower dance mans up on 10 HP. Comes in for the swipe. Going to help even more later on. Defusal now for the Ursa 2 with the BKB. And here, here we, we go. go. Australian looking for Matuma Man. Tornado and EMP to follow through. GH tries to jump in to help out the team. The dust is out. Shaman the Slayer comes in with the crush, but the Repeller Matuma will save him. They've got the Telekinesis and Jewel on the Omni Knight. The swap save attempted by Matuma Man, but the combo flies through from the Invoker. That's going to be Matuma Man and Mind Control out. The Cardiac Offering has been dropped, but with the Freezing Field as well from Silent, forcing Liquid back. They've lost four. Miracle, the last surviving. And uh, the only guy on Liquid at the moment that's really been relevant in terms of farm. And uh, he is almost certainly not going to make his way out of it. They've got the lockdown with the telekinesis. Faker Squadron will find themselves the it's team wipe. Yeah. GG's caught. It is much too much for the side of Liquid to deal with. As we thought game one was a beat down. I think game two, that was, that was double a beat. That was even more brutal. That was, I mean, very crisp movements from...